Hey, Eric Brown from OutSuite Marketing here. I'm really excited uh, to talk to this gentleman here to my right. This is David Garamella. He is the founder, CEO, and principal of The Giving Collaborative. And I did not know this, but this man has been at this for nearly three decades. David, tell me a little bit about The Giving Collaborative and this huge, like, body of work you have that's almost 30 years long. No, absolutely, absolutely, Eric. Thank you for, for having us today. Uh, it is pretty amazing that it's been that long, over a quarter of a century of working with not-for-profits and socially-minded organizations that are for the common good and community benefit. Uh, TGC, that's what we like to call ourselves, Giving Collaborative, uh, was, was founded, funny enough, out of the um, the financial crisis of 2008. Uh, I was a not-for-profit executive, worked for a foundation, and uh, we were relying on philanthropic monies, grant monies, federal, state, private foundation donations, and it was drying up, mm. right? Mm -hmm. People were afraid to commit to a philanthropic gift. They were afraid to long-term commitments, and... Sounds familiar. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, right? So we're, we, it's deja vu, mm -hmm. unfortunately, fortunately. But what we learned was that there was still a need, right? Just because you're in the middle of a financial crisis, there's still homelessness, scholarships that need to be funded. It, you know, and the list goes on and on and on. And so what we did, we created the Giving Collaborative to find an affordable way for organizations to partner with professional whether they were fundraisers, grant writers, uh, lobbyists, to advance their mission and what they're doing. Mm. And uh, so that's the genesis of the Giving Collaborative. 2008, uh, we are mission focused. We only partner with organizations that we feel promote the common good and align with our own personal values. We've worked with just some amazing, amazing organizations from Shriners Hospitals for Children, to uh, Mystic Aquarium and their efforts around conservation for beluga whales, oh, wow. to uh, hospices across the United States, you know, delivering just humane end of life care. Yeah. Uh, some of our, our services that we offer uh, now are crisis management, especially among co in the midst of the COVID pandemic. Uh, we found that our not-for-profit partners sometimes are kind of stalled or frozen and not knowing what to do next. Mm -hmm. And we, we act almost in a, in a therapy or a coaching uh, role. Right. And so our services from capital campaign, comprehensive campaign management to feasibilities to uh, board development, working with volunteers wow. uh, to be able to better promote their, uh, the organization that they're involved in. Sounds like a lot. It's it's crazy. It, it sounds it's like a absolutely lot. crazy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, listen. I'm here's what I'm picking up on. Listen to this. You're pretty passionate about this, David. Like, yeah, you, absolutely. You, you seem very it's, passionate, very driven. I mean, to do something for 30 years, you you better have some conviction behind it, right? You know, it's it's a pretty cool gig when you wake up every morning and the people and organizations you work with. You know, no lie, make the world a better place, right? So, yeah, That's it great. is pretty cool. Love it. It is pretty cool. So, so let me ask you this. I mean, obviously, we're in a unique moment right now, Absolutely. right? And, and it's funny because, you know, you referenced it earlier. I mean, it, time and history just has a way of recycling itself, you know, it often. So does this moment feel similar? There's a, there's a certain pattern when there's a crisis, whether it's natural phenomena, whether it's a hurricane, uh, earthquake, uh, whether it's a financial collapse, that people get nervous and they're not necessarily thinking about the charities that they supported so they conserve cash, they conserve their resources, they, uh, they're not volunteering as much. Mm. But then there's a, a kind of a quick turnaround and they're like, oh, all right, wait a second they still need me, they still need my resources, and there's an emergency response. But the next part of that cycle is they start to, again, get a little bit conservative and say, okay, 
this particular sector, whether it's healthcare, whether it's something else, has gotten my resources, what should I do? And there's this kind of blindness and, and things kind of spin for a while, but then we come out of it and we come out of it stronger and philanthropy always increases. Mm -hmm. If you look at trend lines, in, in, at least in the United States, uh, giving always goes up. Right. So are you feeling cautiously op optimistic right now about where we're going? I or? am. I yeah. am, for especially for certain sectors. Uh, any Anybody who is, whether it's a direct social service kind of provider or healthcare, there's never been a greater uh, need. Oh, very enlightening. Now I can see why uh, you got your nickname. I mean, you're what, what's the nickname? You are the... Phil and therapist. Oh, <laughs> you've heard that. You've heard that. All right, all right. Uh, I get it now. I it's, channel it's my great. best Fraser Crane. And, uh... <laughs> That's great. So let me ask you this. I also saw that you have offices around the globe. Absolutely. Correct? Yeah, Absolutely. tell me a little bit about so that. So we have representation uh, throughout the United States. I have a great partner uh, in London right now, the Benjamin Franklin House. Yes. Uh, we also, uh, though, have an amazing uh, team in Cape Town. Yes, well, that's great. So, so yes, you have a pretty far reach with what you've yes, been doing. Yes, we have. And yeah. you know, I think our, if collectively, if we look in this, and I'm proud of this, our client partners over the years have raised somewhere north of $4 billion. And that's, that's just absolutely, absolutely fulfilling from my perspective. Wow, wow. that's awesome. Well, you're inspiring me. So I, get I, out there, volunteer, I got to. give. I've got to, yeah. Every dollar counts, doesn't yeah. matter. That's great. Right. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate you stopping I by today and, and sharing invite. sharing some of what you do. And if someone wanted to reach out to you and speak to you a little bit more about your work or mm -hmm. you know, be getting involved in something sure. like this, how would they do that? Sure, they could uh, reach us through our, our website, which is www.givingcollaborative.com. They can email us at info at givingcollaborative.com. And if you are, are, would like to have a conversation, just call me directly. All my contact information is on that website. Great. Awesome. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for stopping by.